What is going on guys? Wally here from Planet Destiny and today we're going over brief information about Taken King. The DLC slated to come out September 15th of this year at a price tag around $40. Now before we get into the nitty gritty about some of the information we have, I'm just going to give you my opinion about that $40 price tag. If they justify enough content in that $40 price tag, I personally I'm okay with it. They so far have not done anything to lead me astray with my $15 for the season pass and subsequent expansion packs. So I have my faith in this one. I think for $40, we may see a good portion of content. At least that's what I'd like to believe. We'll have to see in the future. Along with Taken King's release, there will be three new subclasses, one new subclass for each of the standard vanilla classes. So you have an electrical storm for warlocks, which is your arc ability, a gravity bow for hunters, which is void, and a flaming hammer for titans, which is solar. Going to be very interesting. It's going to spice up both PvE and PvP, and I'm very excited to see how they work in combat in the upcoming DLC. We haven't seen any footage yet on how these subclasses are going to operate, so it's largely speculation on our end to see whether or not they're going to be balanced, effective, or anything of that nature. Still going to be very interesting to see how it's implemented and how quickly you can level up to the quickest ranks. I'm very curious to see what they do with the perks with some of those. I know a Paladin-type Titan is going to be very interesting to play. I know the Hunters are excited for a Bow and Arrow-type class, and the Warlocks get an Emperor Palpatine-type jedi feel which is going to be very very cool indeed still curious though i don't exactly know how they're going to balance everything i figured they're going to take a lot of time with this probably get a lot of community feedback and we'll see a lot more information come e3 regarding the three new subclasses at this point in the video i do want to talk about that 40 dollar price tag because that is sort of hefty it's much larger than anything we've seen in the past it's almost like buying a full retail version of the game now, Destiny Standard released at about $60, give or take, depending on where you live. And that was for the full vanilla game, plus one raid, a bunch of PvP content, and a bit of extra content here and there that they added along the way. The DLCs were about $15 a pop, less if you bought the season expansion. And from what I understand, the season expansion does not affect this at all. So you're going to have to fork over that $40, even if you already bought the season pass. Now, personally, if that's the case... I'm fine with that. If $40 is the price tag they're going to go with, it has to speak true that there's going to be a lot more content than we see standard in most of the DLCs they've released. Hopefully, we see more than one raid or we see new types of PvP, a matchmaking system, potentially even private matches. They take time to balance out some of the problems with PvP currently, and they offer up more PvE content to the people who just want to enjoy themselves with their friends. But honestly, at the end of the day, I cannot endorse you whether or not to buy this. We haven't seen enough information yet to really make a good judgment or opinion on this matter to whether or not the content justifies the price tag. Generally, we see with leaks like this, we always go ahead and get hyped up and ready to go. And I would advise against that. I would say, do your research, check with multiple sources, and see if this content really is for you. Personally, I love Destiny and everything surrounding it. So if they do want to charge $40 for three new subclasses and one new raid, I suppose that is justifiable to me because I enjoy the content. I know that's not all they're going to give us, but I just want to give you my perspective on the matter. The final thing I wish to discuss is the raid. Now, the rave is centered around Oryx, the father of Crota. Now, if you've been keeping up with the lore, you understand that Eris Morn has been talking to the Queen regarding an alliance between the Tower and the Reef to take down Oryx or the coming oryx type enemy which is called the taken hence the expansion name it's gonna be very interesting to see what the taken are they could be a new race but personally i think it's just going to be an advanced form of hive or perhaps some new hive archetypes that we've never seen before again which will be fine with me a whole new race does add sort of another little wrench into the machine it should be interesting to see how they implement this but i am really looking forward to more information that they will undoubtedly reveal around the time of e3 in the coming weeks I am curious, though, to see what your guys' opinion is on this one, though. Is Oryx a raid, the Taken, a possible new enemy type, three new subclasses, and whatever other information they choose to give us, is that justifiable for a $40 price tag? That's going to be sort of a burning point for a lot of people until we get more information revealed to us. So I am curious to see what you guys think. Let us know in the comments below or tweet at us. Either way works. And as always, guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for watching this video, and thank you for supporting Planet Destiny. Thank <laughs> you.